so far as this year's baseball cards go, I've only bought the Top Series Series uh, set of uh, baseball cards, just the base set. And so I'm kind of looking for cards that aren't included in the base set there. Um, I mean, call getting a Buster Posey card. I think he's a short print or other short prints. This is Top's regular series card set. And let's see what we've got in here. So I think there are 75 cards plus some inserts. And let's start off with Trent Gresham having a good year with the San Diego Padres. We've got Eduardo Rodriguez. Uh, he was not in Series 1. Joey Wendell, Tampa Bay. They just acquired Nelson Cruz from the Minnesota Twins. That might just get them over the top. Eduardo Escobar. I see Alcides Escobar is back in the Major Leagues playing with the Washington Nationals and a great first week with them. Mookie Betts of the Dodgers. That's a good card. Mike Miner is back with the Royals. Mike Trout card. There we go. Can't wait to see him back in action. Shane Bieber of the Indians. Ian Happ of the Chicago Cubs. Beautiful card. I don't know if the Cubs are going to go become sellers this week. We'll find out if they ship off uh, Chris Bryant. Walker Bueller, uh, Chrome card. Now, there is not, a, I'm glad to get, this is my favorite card so far. I have not got a Walker Bueller card in the uh, Topps Heritage. So that's the first 2021 Walker Bueller card I've got. Brewers in the style of 1986, Christian Yelich. And here is Chris Bryant, uh, beautiful card. Uh, he may not be in that same uniform next week. We'll see. Blake Stell in the style of 1952 tops, one of my favorite styles. Garrett Cole, Clayton Kershaw, and Chris Bryant. Yachty Molina, those were all good cards. Mike Trout. Chrome card in 1952 style. Love that card. Nick Heath. That would be a rookie card. I don't think he's going to get called up this year. Tristan McKenzie. Don't have him. Shohei Otani pitching. Uh, he is in uh, the base set of Topps uh, Heritage, but I'll take any Otani card I can get hold of. Nelson Cruz will no longer be in that Twins uniform. He's going to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, Tampa Bay Ray. Chris Taylor, an all-star card. Byron Buxton is finally reaching his potential. Buster Posey, I'm very glad to get this card because there's no uh, base set Posey card in the Topps Heritage set. Adam Frazier, he is not in the Topps Heritage set, so this is my first 2021 Adam Frazier card. I'm very glad to get it. That's an all-star card. Peter Alonzo, what a home run derby he had. He was not, he was not going to be beaten. Reese Hoskins, Aaron Judge. Brandon Woodluff having an all-star season. Mike Yastrzemski. Jesus Sanchez, that's a rookie card. All right, that not disappointing. $25, 75 cards. But um, again, I'm not looking at the money values of the cards. I'm looking for cards that I didn't, didn't have. I liked all the 1952 cards, especially the Chrome Mike Trout. And the Chris Bryant card is good, and the Walker Bueller card I like.
Welcome to St. Louis Hanlon's Park. Today's game features the Kansas City Packers playing for first place and the St. Louis Terriers who are also playing for first place. Both teams come into the game with records of four wins and two losses uh, plus five run differ differential, which will be the tiebreaker in this league competition. Here are your starting lineups today. Chet Chadburn it leads off for the Kansas City Packers, George Perrin, star third baseman. Duke Kenmore, the second base. Al Shaw, Grover Gilmore, Ted Easterly, the catcher, George Stovall, player manager. And Johnny Rollins, the shortstop with Chief Johnson on the mound. 2.75 earn run average. He is a workhorse pitcher for the Kansas City Packers. For the St. Louis Terriers, Bobby Vaughn leads off and plays second base. Babe Borton. Warden Miller, Jack Tobin, hits fourth, Charlie Deal, third base, Grover Hartley, catcher, Delos Drake, Ernie Johnson at shortstop, and Eddie Plank, longtime Philadelphia Athletic, pitching for the St. Louis Terriers, 2.08 earn run average. He is a workhorse and tough pitcher. I have a new rule we're going to incorporate in this game. There is a momentum rule in time travel baseball. If a team has won three games in a row, their defense is alert. Or if a team has lost three games in a row, their defense is careless. Kansas City has won three games in a row, and they will be alert. Uh, likewise, um, St. Louis Ter Terriers defense will be alert because they are the home team and their pitcher is tough. Jeff Chadbourne steps into the box. The green dice will read off the pitcher's cards. If the red dice is higher, we read off the green dice. We read off the batter's cards. Let me say that again. Red dice is higher. We'll read off the pitcher's card. And we take a gamble card every time there is doubles rolled. All right, we're ready to begin. Let's start for first place. Chet Chadbourne, 3-1 is a 4. That's a leadoff single. For Chet Chadburn of the Packers. Here's George Peering, star third baseman, stepping in for the Packers. We're using uh, the master rules, so we'll read the whole line on the gambles cards. Pitch to Peering from Eddie Plank, 5-5. Five, five. Off the batter's card is a swing and a miss. Strike three, Peering strikes out. One away. Here's Duke Kenworthy, one of the top batters in the Kansas City lineup. Eight off the batter's card is a slow ground out. And that slow roller is the second out, but it lets Chadburn go to second base. He's in scoring position with two outs. Al Shaw. Plank goes into the stretch. Here's the pitch. 11 off the pitcher's card is a base hit for Eddie Plank, and that's going to score. The fast Chadbourne from second base. one nothing Packers. Here's Grover Gilmore. Nine off the pitcher card is a hard line drive the opposite way to Deal, who makes the catch. Three outs. We go to the bottom of the first. Kansas City breaks out on top. one and nothing. Workhorse Chief Johnson completes his warm-up tosses. And stepping into the box for the St. Louis Terriers is the leadoff hitter Bobby Vaughn. Seven off the pitcher card. Take a gamble. High fastball ripped to the opposite field for a home run. If the pitcher's salary is higher than the batter's salary, batter strikes out. His salary is a one. Batter's a one. They're equal. That's a home run, only the second on the channel on this dead ball 1915 season, a home run for Bobby Vaughn. Terriers tie the score at one apiece. Babe Borton's the batter. Seven off the batter's card is a fly ball to the center fielder Gilmore. One away. That brings up the St. Louis center fielder, Ward Miller. 
Six off the batter's card. Line drive to second base. Caught by Duke Kenworthy. Two outs. Here is Jack Tobin, who will become a star with the St. Louis Browns and play on that 1922 Browns team that won over 100 games. Seven off the pitcher card is a take a gamble. Single, batter out. Batter out in a collision at second base. If batter is extra effort, check injury for second baseman. Careless is a double. They're not careless. They're, the defense is alert. All right, the best I can interpret that card is that is a base hit for Jack Tobin, but he's thrown out at second. Better out in inclusion at second. Check the injury if it's a extra effort. He's not extra effort, but he is out at second base trying to stretch it into a double, 9-6. to six. But the St. Louis Terriers tie the score 1-1. to one. We go to the top of the second. Hall of Famer Getty, Gettysburg Eddie Plank returns to the mound and completes his warm-up tosses. He's the first left-hander in Major League Baseball to win 200 games and then was also the first left-hander to win 300 games. Had an illustrious career. He didn't play baseball until he was age 17. And uh, then he was seen by Connie Mack and signed and won, I think he won 20 games his first year in 1902, 3.3 ERA. Here we go with Ted Esley leading off for the Federals of Kansas City. Seven off the batter's card is a high fly out to center field, one away. Here's George Stovall. He was signed away from the St. Louis Browns to come to the Packers and play for the Packers. Manage him as well. Nine. Line drive fly out to left field. Two outs. Shortstop Johnny Rollins. Eight. Infield pop up to the shortstop. And that's called for and caught by Johnson. Shortstop for St. Louis. Three up and three down for the Packers. We go to the bottom of the second, 1-1 one, one tie. Third baseman Charlie Deal leads off for the St. Louis Ter Terriers. We're tied 1-1. One, one. Nine off the batter's card is a slow roller to the first baseman. Picked up by George Stovall. He steps on first, unassisted, one away. Here's Grover Hartley, the catcher. Five, pitcher's card. Base hit. Up the middle to center field. One out and one on to Delos Drake, outfielder for the Terriers. <clears throat> Gamble card for the Devils. That's off the pitcher card. 2-2 two -two is a line drive. To George Peering, the third baseman for the Packers. Two outs. Here is the shortstop, Ernie Johnson. Four is a hard ground out. Johnny Rollins scoops and throws across the diamond. Three outs. We go to the top of the third. 1-1 one, one tie. The pitcher, Chief Johnson, leads off for Kansas City. Pitch from Eddie Plank is a 10 off the pitcher card. A swing and a miss. Strike three. Second strikeout for Eddie Plank. He struck out George Peering in the first inning. Chad Chadburn steps into the box. Peering's on, on deck. Here's the pitch to Chadburn. Seven. Take a gamble card. Double in the right center field. Star third baseman. Or second baseman get, gets a infield lineup. The shortstop. Star three at second base gets an infield lineup. Shortstop is a star player. The second baseman uh, is not. So that's a double for Chadbourne. He is two for two. George Peering comes up with a man in scoring position. 259 hitter. Here's a pitch from Eddie Plank. Seven, or excuse me, eight off the 
is a pop-up on the infield to the shortstop, Ernie Johnson. Two outs. It's going to be up to Duke Kenworthy to put his team up front. Nine off the pitcher card is a line drive to the shortstop, Johnson. Three outs. And Chadbourne is stranded at second base. We'll go to the bottom of the third, 1-1 one, one tie. Pitcher Eddie Plank leads off for the St. Louis Terriers. He is rated dangerous as a batter. Eight off the pitcher card is a sharp ground ball to Duke Kenworthy. He snags it, throws the first, one away. Top of the order and Bobby Vaughn. Let off the Terriers game with a home run. Here's the pitch to Bobby Vaughn. Ten off the pitcher card. Pressure play. So we will look for a talent card off an alert team. And we drew an angered umpire. We'll deal with that in a minute. Talent card, nobody on. Fly out the left field. All right, dugout of the team drawing this card angers the umpire about constant complaining balls and strikes. For the next two innings, all strikeouts on the pitcher's flashcard become walks. All walks on the hitter's flashcard become strikeouts. So the next two innings, that card will benefit the St. Louis Terriers as the bench of the Kansas City Packers is getting under the skin of the umpire. There's two outs. Nobody on base, and Babe Borton steps up to the plate for St. Louis. Seven is off the batter's card. That's going to be a high fly ball toward right field and caught by Chet Chadbourne. Three outs. We go to the fourth. One-one tie. Al Shaw, who's single and drove in the Packers' only run, leads off the fourth for Kansas City. Nine off the batter's card is a high fly ball. Towards center field. Ward Miller is under it, pats the glove, and makes the catch. One down. Grover Gilmore. Seven off the batter's card is another high fly out, this time toward left field. Delos Drake with a catch. Two outs. Pitcher Eddie Plank turns around, signals two outs to his fielders. Ted Esterly, catcher, steps into the box. Tennis pressure play off the pitcher's card. And it gets an alert team, so we're looking for a talent card, which is green. Single line past shortstop. Three is positioned perfectly to make the a shortstop three, makes the catch. Uh... Ernie Johnson is a shortstop, too, so he doesn't quite get to that. That's a base hit. Two out single, and the Packers have a base runner. Average speed. George Stovall, the player manager, steps up to the plate. Doubles. So that's off the pitcher card. 3-3 three, three is a base on balls. First walk in the game. Stovall, patient, takes first. Two on, two outs for shortstop Johnny Rollins, 216 hitter in 1915. Seven off the batter card is a ground ball toward third base. Charlie Deal scoops it, makes the long throw across. That's the end of the top of the fourth inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth, 1-1 one, one tie. For the bottom of the fourth inning, we want to remember that the angered umpire card is in play. When, when the Terriers go back out, the walks on the, or strikeouts on the pitcher's card become a walk. All right, let's think about that again. The walks on, uh, excuse me, the strikeouts on Chief Johnson's card will become walks this inning. Ward Miller steps into the box for the Terriers. Seven is off the pitcher's card. That's to take a gamble. Double over the center fielder's head. Batter's out at third. Daring batter is safe for a triple. Uh, star center fielder turns that into a deep fly out. 
Uh, there is not a star center fielder. So that's going to be a double. Jack Tobin, a 294 hitter, steps into the box for the Terriers. Potential go ahead run is at second base. 6 6 roll off the pitcher card is a walk. First and second. Charlie Deal. Seven is off the batter's card. That's a high fly out to right field. Brings up Grover Hartley. One away, first and second. Terriers threatening. Uh, they already have the ump umpire on their side. He's mad at the Packers bench for the rest of this inning. Here's a pitch to Grover Hartley. Seven is a off the pitcher card. Gamble card. Line drive to Duke Kenworthy. Line drive out. Man at seconds out for a double play. If there's nobody out, the throw goes to the first, and it's a triple play. There's no out. There is one out. But double play ends the inning, so it's not a triple play. So I'll score at four, and then four to six. That's the end of the fourth inning. We go to the fifth. Still one one tie. Angry Empire card is still in play. So if there's any walk on the hitter's flash card, that becomes a strikeout. Chief Johnson leads off for the Kansas City Packers. 2-2 Two -two is off the uh, batter card. Infield line out to the shortstop, Ernie Johnson. One away. Packers send up Ch Chadbourne. Having a good day. He is 2-2, two for two, singled and doubled, scored a run. 5-5 five -five comes off the pitcher card. Base on balls, that becomes a strikeout because the umpire is still mad at the Packers. Two outs. George Peering. Seven off the pitcher card. Take a gamble. Base is clear. Star center fielder, long run, leap the wall, robs the batter of a hit. Otherwise, deep drive, he's not a star center fielder. So deep drive, caroms off the center field wall away from the fielder for a double. Fast batter speeds into third for a triple. Pairing is fast. He's not daring, so he does not round third. So it's a triple for George Pairing. Two outs, pairings at third. Duke Kenworthy, Packers' best hitter. He had 15 home runs in 1914. His home run total went down to three in 15, but he still hit 298. Here's the pitch to Duke Kenworthy. Five off the batter's card is a line fly out to center field. That's the third out. We go to the bottom of the fifth, still tied 1-1. One -one. All right, it's been a couple of innings for the Angry Empire card, I think we can retire that card now. The bottom of the Terrier lineup is due to bat in the bottom of the fifth. Delos Drake, Ernie Johnson, and Eddie Plank. Here's the pitch to outfielder Delos Drake. Ten off the pitcher card is a pressure play. We need an alert gamble card. Double down the third baseline. Star third baseman, or three, knocks the ball down, holding the ball to a single. Perry is a star third baseman, so that's a base hit, single, saved from being a double by George Perry. Ernie Johnson. He will swing away. Six off the pitcher card is a chopper ground down. To the first baseman, George Stovall, he throws the second back to first, not in time at first. Fielder's choice, Drake is out at second, three to six. And now Ernie Johnson's the base runner at first. One away, he's a slow runner. Brings up the pitcher, Ernie Plank, or Eddie Plank. He has a rated dangerous 
pitching hitter. Here's the pitch from Chief Johnson. Three off the batter's card is a base on balls. Planks at first. Johnson's at second, one away. Top of the order and Bobby Vaughn. Five off the pitcher card is a short single. That's just one base advance. We'll call that an infield hit. Toward the third baseman, Peering. Now Vaughn is two for three. He is homered and singled. Chief Johnson is surrounded by Terriers. Bay Borton comes to the plate. Can Bay Borton put a quarter in the merry-go-round? Infield's playing back for a double play. Five is uh, off the pitcher's card. That's a short single, one base advance. Everybody moves up a station, and the Terriers take a two to one lead. Fatigue rules in uh, time travel baseball, you think of them as fives. If there's five base runners in a inning or five runs scored against a pitcher, uh, they become fatigued unless they are workhorse pitchers. And Chief Johnson, that's a fifth base runner, but Chief Johnson is a workhorse pitcher, so he is not fatigued. Ward Miller comes to the plate. Still only one down. Still the bases are loaded. Here's the pitch to Miller. 11 off the pitcher card is a single, and that's going to score two runs. Ward Miller puts the Terriers up 4-1. to one. Jack Tobin. 7 off the pitcher card. Take a gamble. All right, that's a pitch in the dirt, smothered by the catcher, Easterly. Still an alert defense, so it's not a pass ball. Nine off the batter card, infield pop-up. That's the infield fly rule, caught by the first baseman, George Stovall. Two outs. G. Thompson. To prevent further damage, he needs to get past Charlie Deal, star third baseman for the Terriers. Here's the pitch. That's an eight off, and that's an infield pop up for the third out, caught by third baseman Peering. Three outs, but three runs are in for the Terriers. St. Louis four and Kansas City one. All right, Kansas City comes up in the top of the sixth inning. They've got Alan Shaw, the cleanup hitter, Gilmore, and Easterly to follow. Here's the pitch from Eddie Plank. Five off the pitcher card is a hard hit ball to third baseman. Charlie Deal to throw to first. One away. Nice play by Charlie Deal. Grover Gilmore. Eight off the pitch card. Popped up in the air. Second baseman Vaughn calls for it and makes the catch. Two outs. Here's the catcher, Ted Easterly. He saved a run by stopping a pitch in the dirt in the last half inning. Seven. Take a gamble off the pitcher card. Base hit. Star right field turns it into a line out. He's not a star right fielder. Two out single for Ted Easterly. George Stovall. Seven off the pitcher card, another gamble. Fast or daring runner is picked off first base. Easterly is average. So the throw over to first, back safely. Pitch to Stovall. Seven. High fly out to the left field, left center field, and that's caught by the left fielder, Delos Drake, three outs. The bottom of the sixth inning, it's 4-1 to one, St. Louis. Charlie. Chief Johnson coming off a tough bottom of the sixth inning where he gave up three runs. Sure, Delos Drake. 6-6 six, six comes off the batter card. That's a base hit. Question mark. Question mark deals with left-right split, so it's righty-righty. They are both right-handed, so that is a strikeout.
two outs. Shortstop Ernie Johnson, 240 hitter in 1915. Seven off the batter cards, a ground out toward first base. Flips the first baseman Stovall flips to Chief Johnson covering three outs. We go to the top of the seventh. It's still four to one St. Louis. In the seventh, it'll be Johnny Rollins, Chief Johnson, and Ch Chadbourne. Here's a pitch to Rollins. Four off the batter card is a fly ball to center field, and that's caught by Ward Miller for the first out of the seventh inning. Chief Johnson's the hitter. Eddie Plank comes to the plate. Seven. The pitch to Chief Johnson is a seven off of Eddie Plank's car card. That's a take a gamble card. We drew the railroaded card. Team drawing this card can use it for any play at the plate when used. Runner crashes violently into the catcher, drops the ball, runner safe. Check for both players for injury. And team drawing this card must use within three innings. So it's good for Kansas City. No, it'd be good for because it, it favors the defense. No, it favors the offense. So it would be good for Kansas City. And that's for three innings. That's until the end of the game. Let's draw another card. See, the result of the play is a... For the basic game, it's a pop out the catcher. But the master game, a fine bunner pushes a bunt in front of home plate. Safe at first base. Catcher throws the for first baseman off the bag an error on the catcher. E2 of one out. Kansas City has a base runner at first. Average speed. Ch Chadbourne steps into the box. Chadbourne led off the game with a single and scored. He doubled and struck out after that. Five off the pitcher card is a hard ground ball. Hard ground outs go to the um, card, better, the field, field card. That's going to be a base hit off the Hanlon Park card. Brings up George Pairing. Eight is a doubles. Comes off the pitcher card. 4-4 four, four is a single and a run scores. First and third, Kansas City. Make that first and second, but the runner on, on second scored. 4-2, to two, Terriers. And Kansas City's threatening to come back. Here is Duke Kenworthy. Eddie Plank has a workhorse pitcher, so we're not concerned about fatigue here either. Here's the pitch to Kenworthy. Five off the batter's card is a line fly out to the he's batting right hand, so it'd be a line fly out to the left fielder. Two outs. Alan Shaw with a chance to get the Packers closer. He has one for three in the game. He has an RBI. He drove in the run in the first inning. Five off the pitcher card is a hard ground out. Again, we roll off the home field card, and that's still a hard ground out. That's going to be a ground out to second base. There were two two outs in the, in the innings. That's the third out. Packers score once. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's four to two, St. Louis. Eddie Plank leads off for the Terriers. Pitch from T. Johnson. 2-2 two, two, comes off the batter card. Sharp ground out. To the first baseman, George Stovall takes it unassisted. One away. Better is Bobby Vaughn. 5-5. Five, five. Off the pitcher card, that's a base on balls. One out, Dave Borton comes to the plate. He has one for three. Seven off the batter cards, a fly out to right field. Two outs, and here is Ward Miller. Nine off the pitcher card is an infield pop up. Three outs caught by the second baseman. 
Duke Kenworthy. We go to the top of the eighth. Kansas City trails by two. Grover Gromar will lead off for the Kansas City Packers. He was uh, played his first Major League ball with the Packers in, in 1914 and had a good year when he hit 287 and stole 23 bases in 1915. He hit 285. He had a lot of strikeouts his first year, but he cut that 108 times he struck out. Cut that down to 44 strikeouts in 1915. Um, some of these players in this game live short lives. Uh, Gilmore was one of them. He died at his home at age 31. He's in Sioux City, Iowa. Eddie Plank pitches to Grover Gilmore. 11 off the batter card. That's going to be a base hit, and the Packers can use that here in the eighth. They're down by two runs. That gets a tie and run to the plate. Ted Easterly. Plank goes into the stretch. Here's the pitch to Easterly. Eight off the pitcher cards. A pop up on the infield to the right to the mound. The pitcher, Plank, takes it himself. Infield fly roll anyway. There's one down. George Stovall, the player manager. Seven is take a gamble card off the pitcher card. The heckler card is drawn. Heckling fan gets under the skin of the batter. He strikes out. But veteran player uses his motivation and smacks a hard liner for a single with a ba base runner advancing two bases. Stovall is a veteran, and so that's going to be a first and third situation for the Packers, a base hit. I would count that a strikeout if he was like in his first two or three years in the league, but he is definitely a veteran. Here's Johnny Rollins. Runners on the corners with one out. They pop out to the pitcher. Eddie Plank and the Cardinals, or the Terriers, are going to play the infield back, hoping for a double play. Pitch to Rollins is an 11 off the pitcher card. That's a single, and that scores the runner at third. Four to three, the Packers pull within one. Pitchers do up. Kansas City's going to bring in a pitch hitter, Art Kruger, off the bench. Pitch from Eddie Plank to Kruger. Seven. Take a gamble card off the pitcher card. Short single. Runner at second is out in a rundown past third. If that runner's extra effort, he avoids a rundown, scores. He's not extra effort. So um, a single, but... The man at second base, who is Stovall, is caught in a rundown. That's two outs, and Kruger's at first, with Rawlings at second, and top of the order to Chet Chadbourne, who is three for four in this game. Five off the pitcher cards, a hard ground out will roll off the ballpark card. Two, it's, uh, the ground out is an out. And the play made by the first baseman, Borton. Three unassisted, three outs. Kansas City scores once. They pull within one. It's 4-3 to three St. Louis. New pitcher for Kansas City is Alex Main. 2.54 earned run average, a workhorse pitcher. He'll be pitching to Jack Tobin, Charlie Deal, and Grover Hartley in the bottom of the eighth inning, trying to hold the Terriers in place. Here is a roll of eight off the pitcher card. That's a chopper ground out to first base. George Stovall makes the play, flipping the main. Main is a very tall pitcher. He's about six foot six, covering first base. Three to one. Scoring, and that brings up Charlie Deal, star third baseman for the St. Louis Club. Nine off the batter's card is a slow ground out. To the third baseman, George Pimerine throws across the diamond. Nips Charlie Deal is not a fast runner, but close play at first. Two outs, Grover Hartley. Five off the batter card is a liner to the right fielder, Chet Chadbourne. Three up and three down. We go to the top of the ninth. St. Louis is up by one. 
George Pairing will lead off for the visiting Packers. They're down by a run. Here's the pitch from Eddie Plank. He's trying to pitch a complete game. Five. Hard ground out. Uh, we'll roll off the ballpark card. That's going to get through for a single. So the right-handed batter, if you roll one on a hard ground out, that's a base hit. Kansas City gets the tie and run on first, nobody out. Payrain's a fast runner. Duke Kenworthy comes to the plate. Kenworthy is 298 hitter, but he is 0 for 4 today looking for his first hit. 5-5. Five, five. Take that off the batter's card because it's a green gamble card. Base on ball uh, off the batter's card. 5-5 five, five is hit by pitch ball. Okay, going to the key. The check bar means clutch hitting home run if it makes or breaks a tie game. Otherwise, use the result on a card. It makes a tie game. It makes and it breaks a tie game. It's a drive by Kenworthy. It might be. It could be. It is out of here, and it's suddenly quiet at Hanlon Park as the Kansas City Packers take a 5-4 to four lead in the ninth. That two-run home run will chase the St. Louis pitcher. Eddie Plank goes out of the game. Doc Watson comes in to relieve. Left-hander pitching to Al Shaw, left-handed pitcher. Here's a pitch to Shaw. Nobody out. Kansas City is just taking the lead. Seven off the batter's card. Slow ground out. And actually, off hand on this card, we should be checking the slow ground outs for a one roll. And it's an out. Shortstop to first. One away. Grover Gilmore. Four off the pitcher cards. A swing and a miss. Strike three. It has really gotten quiet here at Hanlon's Park as their hometown team has now fallen behind. Easterly, four off the pitcher card, is a swing and a miss, strike three. So a nice job turned in by Duck Watson to retire the Packers 1-2-3 after the two runs scored. But we go to the bottom of the ninth, Kansas City 5, Terriers 4. Alex Main comes back out to pitch the ninth inning for Kansas City. Delos Drake is the first scheduled hitter. He's a seven-place hitter. You got Ernie Johnson and probably a pitch hitter for the pitcher. Delo Strike steps into the box. Terriers down by one. Nine off the pitcher card is a swing and a miss. Strike three. One out in the ninth. Ernie Johnson. Ten is a off the batter's card. That's a base hit for Ernie Johnson, and the plus single means he can steal second. A roll of one to five, he'll be safe. He is just barely safe at second, but he's in scoring position with a stolen base. Here's a pitch hitter for the pitcher, Al Bredwell, a tough man to strike out. If we roll a strikeout off of his card, it becomes a ground out. Here's the pitch to Bridwell. Seven off the batter's card is an infield pop-up. George Stovall is under it, calls for it, and makes the catch. Two outs for the Terriers. Last chance is Bobby Vaughn, the leadoff hitter. Bobby Vaughn is two for three with a home run in the game, one of two home runs in this game. Here's the pitch to Bobby Vaughn. 1-1 one, one roll. That's off the batter's card. Becomes a long double. Rolling up to the center field wall and that drives in the runner on second. Johnson. And ties the game 5-5. Five to five. Terriers have their backs to the wall. They've tied it. They, now they could take the lead. If Babe Borton can get a hit here, he is one for four. Vaughn now is now three for four with two RBIs. 
4-4 is off the pitcher card. That's a base hit, and it will score Vaughn. It's a walk-off single by Babe Borton, and the St. Louis Terriers take first place in the Federal, Federal League with a 6-5 victory over Kansas City. They, they will be in third place now after the seventh week of play. We're back with a wrap-up. Final line score is the Kansas City Packers scored five runs on 15 hits and no errors. The St. Louis Terriers scored six runs on 10 hits, and they committed one costly error that led to a run. The winning pitcher was Watson for the St. Louis Terriers, and Alex Main was a loser for Kansas City. Two home runs in the game. One hit by Bobby Vaughn to lead off the game for the offense for St. Louis in the bottom of the first inning. And then a big home run by Duke Kenworthy of the Kansas City Federal team to give them a lead in the ninth inning, but that lead did not hold up as Bay Borton drove home the winning run with a base hit, drove, drove, driving home Vaughn, and St. Louis takes the victory. Here's scores from around the league in the seventh week of the Federal League. Pittsburgh went to extra innings in Brooklyn and beat the Brooklyn Tip Tops 4-3. to Buffalo was at Chicago Wells. The Wells came from behind with two runs in the bottom of the ninth to take that game 5-4. to And Newark Peppers at Newark scored in the bottom of the ninth to defeat the Baltimore Terrapins 4-3. to And actually, all these games were ninth inning wins as Pittsburgh won their game with, with one run in the ninth inning 4-3. So, four exciting finishes in the Federal League today. We'll go to week eight. St. Louis is in first place. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and God bless.